Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the UML structural diagrams. The UML structural diagrams are categorized as class diagram, object diagram, component diagram, and deployment diagram. And in this lecture, we are just introducing all these diagrams. From next set of lectures, we are detailing these set of diagrams. So when we come to the class diagram, a class diagram models the static view of a system. It comprises of classes, interfaces, and collaboration of a system, as well as the relationship between them. Let us consider a simplified banking system. A bank has many branches in each zone. One branch is designated as a zonal head office that supervises the other branches in that particular zone. Each branch can have multiple accounts and loans. An account may be either a savings account, current account, fixed deposit or something like that. A customer may open both a savings account and a current account. However, a customer must not have more than one savings account or current account. A customer may also procure loans from the bank. This diagram shows the corresponding class diagram of the scenarios mentioned in this. So when it comes to the different classes in the system, the different classes include bank, branch, account, savings account, current account, loan, and customer. So the different relationship in this example is a bank has a number of branches that is composition as well as one to many relation. Secondly, a branch with a role zonal head office supervises other branches that is a unary association or one-to-many association the third relationship is a branch has a number of accounts that is aggregation from one to many from the class account two classes have inherited namely savings account current account a customer may have one current account with association one to one a customer can have one savings account similarly an association one to one a branch has a number of loans that is an aggregation with one to many and a customer can take many loans here also we can see an association one to many so my dear students these are the different representations of a class diagram so we will detail this diagram in the upcoming set of lectures next we are moving to the object diagram an object diagram models a group of objects and their links at a point of time it shows the instance of the things in a class diagram an object diagram is a static part of an interaction diagram for example this figure shows an object diagram of a portion of the class diagram of the banking system which we mentioned earlier so next we are moving to the component diagram a component diagram shows the organization and dependencies among a group of components a component diagram comprises of components interfaces relationship and finally packages and subsystems which is an optional thing a component diagrams are used for constructing systems through forward and reverse engineering modeling configuration management of source code file while developing a system using an object-oriented programming language thirdly it represents schemas in modeling databases and finally modeling behavior of dynamic system so these are the different component diagram usages and when we come to an example this figure shows a component diagram to model a system source code that is developed using C++ language. It shows four source code files, namely myheader.h, otherheader.h, priority.cpp, and other.cpp. Two versions of myheader.h are shown, tracing from the recent version to its ancestor. The file priority.cpp has compilation dependency on other.cpp. The file other.cpp has compilation dependency on otherheader.h. So this shows 
a component diagram which is an organization and dependency among group of components so my dear students next we are discussing the deployment diagram a deployment diagram put emphasizes on the configuration of runtime processing nodes and their components that lay on them they are commonly comprised of nodes and dependencies or association between the nodes the deployment diagrams are used to model devices in embedded system that typically comprises of software intensive collection of hardware it represents the topology of client server system and it model fully distributed systems so when we are discussing an example this figure shows the topology of a computer system that follows the client server architecture the figure illustrates a node stereotyped as a server that comprises of processors the figure indicates that four or more servers are deployed at the system connected to the server are the client nodes where each node represents a terminal device such as workstation laptop scanner or printer the nodes are represented using icons that clearly depict the real world equipments so my dear students these are the different structural diagrams in uml so as we mentioned the unified modeling language or uml structural diagrams are categorized as class diagram object diagram component diagram and deployment diagram so my dear students hope you have understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is write notes on uml structural diagrams that is write notes on class diagram object diagram component diagram and deployment diagram so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the uml behavioral diagrams so my dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best